Welcome to the Strings Attached Knitting Podcast. I'm Mallory. I'm Frida. And we are basically knitting, basically a knitting podcast, but we do all kinds of crafts. So uh, today I think it's mostly knitting, but mm -hmm. you never know what we might throw in there. A little on sewing. Some sewing, some random stuff, some cricket. <laughs> Always cricket. <laughs> but uh, today we do have some FOs to show off, so we're excited about that. And we've got some whips. We're going to talk about our cow that we're running right now, we're hosting right now, and we've got lots of acquisitions. So, you wanna get started? Sure. You wanna to to say what I'm wearing? Yeah, you go first. I am wearing the simple hug that I finished for the Spring Stripe Make Along with Carla. Mm -hmm. From um, the Carla Knits podcast. Mm -hmm. And it's all finished, and I even got all my ends sewn in, and there was a lot of ends. Mm -hmm. And I steam pressed it. The, so the pattern, um, off. yeah, so the, <laughs> <laughs> the pattern specifically told her to cut uh, every stripe. Yeah, it did. So, a lot of ends. There was a lot of ends. But the pattern didn't tell you to stripe it like that. I mean, you could stripe, you could have striped it with big chunk. I mean, I think they had some, a lot of big chunks in their original pattern. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's probably why. Mm -hmm. But you did smaller segments and mm -hmm. there were so many ends. It was okay. And it's, I, but I whipped them all in. I mean, they're not too bad. Nope. No. For how many there were. Yeah. I was worried with it being such a loose gauge that they'd show. But yeah, I was. You worked, you worked them in the, into the button band, it looks like to me. I did. Or I guess it's not really. Well, it's you, where I band, cast but. on the ribbing. You know, it's kind of bunchy sometimes mm -hmm. anyway. So I just whipped over that. It looks good. Area and it's, yeah, and it's all, it was all on one side too. Yeah. It's really pretty. It turned out very summery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love yeah, it. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, yeah I love it. Are it's, you even hot right now? Well, it's a little warm, but it's warm today. Yeah. And this is the hottest room in the house. <laughs> so hot today. So, okay. Do uh, you have any more FOs? Mm, no. No? Okay. Mm, nope. All right. We'll talk about mine. Good. <laughs> so, this one I've showed multiple times. So, I'm just going to quickly just show it real quick because I did finish it over the last couple weeks. But I got my first pair of socks all done. Last time I was like, you know, here, I think, area. So, all done. I've been, I've worn them a few times when it's not super hot. And I've already washed them once, and they, I mean, they look fine. They wash good. Yeah. So, yeah, nice. that was my first FO there. And then the other FO is my Goose sweater. So, it's Goose by Heidi Kermayer, and it turned out beautiful. And it's so classy and elegant. Um, it's plenty long because it's supposed to be like a tunic. I would try it on for you, but it's too hot. <laughs> This is, um, you can wear it sometime in a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> this is Cascade 220, not the superwash, just the standard 220 in, uh, aquamarine, I think. And, uh, it took quite a few skeins because I'm very tall. I had to add four inches of length for it to be long enough for me. So yeah, it took a lot of yarn. I, I panicked at one point and thought I was going to run out and it's a discontinued yarn. So I went on a hunt to find, to make sure I could find it. Went ahead mm -hmm. and ordered two more skeins just to be sure, and then I didn't even end up needing so, them at all. So you've got I've got two yarn. little skeins I didn't even need. I'm sure I'll oh, focus you'll something. Find something yeah. But yeah, so this sweater is constructed really weird. I've talked about it a lot of times, but I was really like proud of how it came all together, and I was surprised at myself that I was able to pull that off. Especially since you had to rip off, rip out. I had to rip out a couple <laughs> different things. But yeah, you do, you, you knit them um, from the middle over. And then this is on a, um, oh, provisional cast on. So then you go back and then you bind them off, three needle bind off together. And it's the same on the back. And then you get all that all hooked together. And then I grafted, I was really proud of this too. So your, your pieces are all separate. And then um, I grafted them on the sides together, which oh, I can't, I can't hold it up, but let me just say that you cannot tell. It looks, no, you can't tell at all. It looks like they were all one continuous, um, t like, you know, tube, but wow. they aren't, they were all the front, the back, there was four separate pieces and now uh, the three needle bind off, you know, down the middle. And then on the sides, they grafted them together. And I was really proud of that graft. I mean, it turned out great. I used the, um, the Rox and Richardson tutorial on how to graft. She, if you need a tutorial, she first of all has every single technique you could ever imagine on there, and she's a pro. Mm -hmm. And her tutorials are really well made and easy to understand and easy to follow. So, highly recommend Rox and Richardson. But yeah, that's my goose sweater. Turned out beautiful. I can't wait to wear it. It's so Christmassy. It's gonna be beautiful. It's pretty. I love it. 
So classy. Anyway, so the very excited. Piece. So I have a uh, one. Yeah, I have one more FO. This I I started and finished within the last, you know, the last pot or oh, whatever. You know, since then, since the last one, <laughs> since the last podcast. Um, okay, this is the front. So this is a little bean and olive. So it's bean and olive by Andrea Mowry. And this will be for my daughter, Maggie. And so, cause I made one for myself and I'm making one for each of my twins. So we're all going to match, but it's they're all, they're all different colors. But I use the same pink yeah. yarn for the hearts. So the green yarn is green tea Heather by Knit Picks. It's the Swish DK. And the pink yarn is strawberry shortcake on, um, the DK Superwash Merino by Yarn Cafe Creations. So it's a hand dyed. So yeah, it's just so cute. And I already have blocked it and everything. And it's just so soft and sweet. And oh, I just love it so much. It's so adorable. You took a picture with Alice with it. In progress. Oh, in progress. So it's actually for Maggie, but Maggie was asleep and I wanted to take a picture. So I tried it on Alice. And Alice was your model. <laughs> yeah, but I haven't taken any finished pictures. Oh, I think I'm going to cool. wait till I have all of them finished and do a little photo shoot with me and both of them. Yeah. So I can, and then I'll post finished pictures of them on Instagram. But yeah, so I completely started that and finished it since the last podcast. <laughs> and it, I mean, it only took me, I think I got that done in four days. Yeah, it didn't take her very long. Very, because it's DK and it's little. It was like the size one. Yeah. So not very big and yeah. And it was fun. Very fun. So like yeah. I just kept on going and going. <laughs> Other stuff had to stop. Yep. So anyway, that is all of my FOs. So I'm ready to go on to whips. Whips. You ready? Well, I'll talk about my problem whip. Okay. There's always a problem with. Get the picture from the book. Oh. Um, I did start the little uh, red sweater that I talked about making. Fair Isle cardigan. Yeah, I just it's from the neck down, so I don't really have much done. And we were just discussing uh, show the sitting show the the increases are not just increases. I think they are supposed to be the like, raglan are supposed to be eye level eye -level looking things. And mine are more. You can't really, really see them. So Mallory yeah. says I'm doing them wrong. You can see them better on the camera. Then I mean, if you steam pressed them, but it I don't have that much done, so I might start it over. So I think what she's doing, and when she's yarning over, I actually yarn over. But you yarn over and then bring your yarn back around to the back, don't you? Yeah, I just yarn over the needle, and then when I go back the next row to knit them, I'm pick I'm knitting it in the front of it, and it's instead making of a, knitting it instead of making a hole like I did for the buttonhole, I made a hole. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. It's a yarn over, but see how much bigger it is. Yeah, but let me tell you about yarn yarn okay, overs. Okay, yeah, I don't know how to do this. So so if you're knitting, this is how I learned. Yeah, if you're knitting. And you want to yarn over, you don't need to bring your yarn all the way around and back to the back. Just bring it to the front. Bring it to the front like you're going to purl a stitch. But don't purl. Knit. knit. Oh. And then when you, like, so your yarn's in the front and then when you knit, it makes a loop over the yarn. But and it makes another stitch. Well, makes no. another stitch, but it makes like a, a yarn over. Hmm, like maybe. funny little place. And then when you get back around to it again, don't knit it. I can't remember. I think I think you want to knit it in the back loop at that point, but don't knit it to where it's hard to knit it. Knit it on yeah. the easy side so it leaves an open like a gape. Yeah, on my buttonhole I knitted it where it was easy and made the hole, mm -hmm. and then on the other ones I knitted it where it was hard to knit. Mm -hmm. and I'd already done several rows. So you were trying to you were closing the hole basically is what you're doing. Yeah, I was just basically increasing mm -hmm. what I was doing. So but I anyway. think it needs that little the holes to be pretty. Yeah, little eyelets. So. I think it does. I'll just rip it out. It's not a big deal. I'm not very far into it. So, yeah. And I may, um, I may join the, uh, Carla Knits. Merry Make Along. Merry Make Along, because it is a Christmas present. So I'll rip it out and start over. It's not a big deal. Actually, the yarn's really easy to work with. It's, you know, your, um, Cascade 220. Yep. This is the super wash. Mm hmm. This is your yeah. first cascade. I know I haven't had any cascade before. It knits well. Yeah. It does it does pill, but I mean it's inexpensive. And it, yeah. but it's nicer than working with something from like Joanne's. Yeah. It's nicer than an acrylic. And I found these but for little, a kid sweater, you don't want to spend a fortune. I was looking online trying to find cute little red and white buttons or green and white buttons, because the other sweater's green. But I found these in my stash and I think I'll use these little clear buttons on both. Cute. 
Yeah, that's what I'm going to do, but I'm going to, what do you call that when you rip it out? Frog. Oh, I'm going to frog. <laughs> so I'm done. And actually, my only other um, whip whip is our cow. So we'll talk about it in a little bit, I guess. Okay. So, okay. So my whips, I've got... Oh, well, I do want to say one more thing. I have been knitting on my afghan that I've been showing a lot. The striped one. I'm way over, what, two-thirds done. Mm-hmm. So I don't have, I'm hoping to have it done way before the end of July, which I was wanted to have it done by the end of June. But okay. anyway, I'm not going to show it anymore. And then after Christmas, we will show clips of each one of them, maybe with each girl holding their afghan. Yeah. But I don't want them to see them, so I'm not going to show. I'll just talk about them, that's all. Yeah. I might show what I'm making in the beginning when I make the other Yeah, like two. maybe like get a couple, a little bit of it done and then show it yeah, and then not show the finished product. Yeah, I don't really want to show the finished product. Okay. So That's, stay tuned. That was my other whip, I guess. Yeah, so she has been working diligently on that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so then my uh, whips. Oh, cute. I know, you haven't seen it, have you? I haven't seen it. So oh, I just started it yesterday. So this is the second um, Bean and Olive. It's adorable. So this will be Alice's. And this is the Swish DK, and it picks Swish DK in the um, Wonderland Heather. So, and then the same Alice yarn. Alice in Wonderland yep. is what we discussed last time. <laughs> so then the same yarn cafe creations for the pink. But yeah, so I'm that far down on the yoke on this one. I just started the hearts. And yeah, so in like, I don't know, three or four days, I'll have this one done. Yeah, next podcast. Yeah, oh, so fun. So yeah. Well, maybe next podcast, you'll have a picture of all three of you. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see if I can get that. All that done in this time. I've got a lot of stuff I want to work on. So, And then, okay, my other whip, besides our cow, where is it at? Oh, this is in my bag that Mom made, my project bag. And I am really getting in the mood to make some more project bags. Yeah. Oh, we'll have to talk about that one we've seen we want to make. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just cast this on, so there's not much to show. But Mom got me this yarn from um, the Clay Pearl in Little Nashville, Indiana. Um, it's Ba Yarns. It's Slice of Summer Remix, and it knits up like that. Mm. And I just couldn't stand it. I had to start it. So I haven't seen this either. I mean, I, I mean, nothing to see. Oh, sure. so here it is, caked up. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? And it's really like dense. Feel that? Yeah, it is. This is all I got. Oh well, not much to see yet. But I did cast on in the round on double point needles. I figured it out. I figured out how to do it. It's not hard. Hmm. I was, I think I so was you've just, been casting on with, with circular needles. Yeah. Those socks that I made, I would, I cast them on the onto shorts. two circular needles and then immediately moved them over to the double points because it, it like, I could not figure out how to not, it, I just kept getting it twisted. But then I think I was just intimidated by it. Probably. I think I just needed to like start fresh from a different approach. And then once I kind of like, it just clicked mm. and then I was like, Oh, that's not hard. So yeah, but that's all I'm doing. Okay. That's all I've got done so far. I mean. It's like, I don't know, four rows. And I'm doing two by two rib because um, I reached out to Carla from Carla Knits Podcast. She knits socks, socks all the time and asked her, um, you know, what kind of ribbing she liked around the cuff of a sock. Because the ones I made over there are, are one by one and they don't stay up very well. Hmm. So those, I did 64 stitches and did one by one ribbing and they just, they want to fall down. Hmm. That's not good. Yeah. And that yarn is also like very slick. So maybe that's part of the reason. Yeah. So this yarn is um is more stiff. It's more of a. I guess you learn which yarns are better for socks. For for my yeah. But then I also feel like I need more of a grasp mm -hmm. from the cuff. I need it to be more like springy. Mm -hmm. So I feel like two by two. She said she uses two by two a lot, and I feel like that will be good. Yeah. I feel yeah. like it'll like good. I don't know. Clamp better. Maybe. I once made a two by two cable sweater. It was like cables, but then the whole rest of it was all two by two. That red one I made, remember? A long time oh, ago? yeah. And it, 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 it shrunk in. It shrunk into like this big, and then when you put it on, it, it hugged. Yeah. But it shrunk in real yeah. little. So. Yeah, it was a pretty sweater. I know it was. So anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm doing that, and I, instead of casting on 64 stitches, I cast it on 60. Make it a little and then I'm going to increase one stitch on each of the four needles when I get to the actual foot and then I'll get back into my 64 stitch pattern and I'm going to make these shorties. So I'm only going to make the, the cuff about that big before I start the heel. Summer Cause I'm socks. hoping summer socks and I'm hoping to be able to get maybe be able to be able to get two pairs out of it. Like Alice. 
No, like me and you. I know, but. Oh, what she does. Alice gets her, one of her twins when she gets really excited, she goes. <laughs> She's so <laughs> funny. So anyway, that's um, my other whip. And then now we can talk about our, let's talk about our cow whips real quick. Okay. So mom hasn't really worked on hers, but. Well, no, I've been working on the afghan. That's all right. You've worked on it since we showed it last time. I have. I've got it. Okay, I, I've got mine. I've got the... So this is the Autumn League pullover, mm -hmm. and we're running a cow. It started June 1st. It's running until August 31st. Mm -hmm. um, if you're, a, I feel like if you're a fast knitter, come I along. Think, yeah. Yeah, start now. And, and I think uh, most of them are um, knitting as the pattern says. Yes. So this is the um, Cotton Jeans yarn by Line Brand, and it's wonderful. It's wonderful. I think a lot of people are using it. Mm -hmm. But we got to be different. <laughs> so we're not doing it like the pattern. Well... Yeah. Okay. So, but I, I've got mine down to where I just got the sleeves tied off and I'm down to the body and we're doing it all in the round. Yep. Mm -hmm. So to talk about it. Yeah. I don't <laughs> want to give away too much of the pattern, but the pattern is, it's interesting construction wise. Um, so it's not supposed to be in the round. It's supposed to be knitted. Like the front has a flap and the back has a flap and then yeah, you, you weave them you together, sew them all the together, sides. and it's supposed mm -hmm. to add structure because this yarn's very floppy mm -hmm. and loose. So, you know, the idea is if you have the seam running down that you've sewn, it'll be like it'll make the sweater more, yeah, have more structure. Mm -hmm. So I decided I don't care running that structure. <laughs> I'm not knitting it flat. I'm knitting it in the round because <laughs> I don't want to purl. Because I purled that that whole entire sweater was purl. Oh knit, purl, yeah, knit, purl. Knit, purl, knit, purl. And I don't want to. So I, I I need a break from that. So I'm going to not, I was going to do a faux seam. Um, Kate from the Knitting Posse, I reached out to her and asked her what she had done on hers. And she did a faux seam and she um, directed me to the, the video she used and stuff. And um, if you want to look up, it's, um, I'll put it below the link to her uh, rivalry page of hers. She did this faux seam where you like, you cast on like for under the arm and she added an extra stitch from what the pattern says. And then you use that stitch to make your faux seam. So what you do is you knit the whole entire thing. And I think you slip that stitch every time or something. You don't actually oh. knit it. And then when you get to the bottom, you drop it. And you let so it fall scary. all the way <laughs> to the armpit oh, again. My goodness. And then you use a crochet hook and go back and you do a certain, you pick it up a certain way. So I was like, man, that'd be, I feel like that'd be hard, but doable on something with wool in it. But this slick, mm -hmm. like, loose cotton yarn mm -hmm. yeah, I was like one. man that would I just I got nervous about it and I really don't know how much structure it would have given me with this yarn I don't know if it really would have been worth it because this yarn is just so loose and floppy the reason so I decided I don't care if it has structure I'm knitting it in the round it'll just be a big old sweatshirt and that's what I'm doing <laughs> I'm knitting it <laughs> and, in she's the round. and she's copying me and I'm doing it in the round I don't mind purling but um I don't want I'm afraid that when I would make the seams, sew the seams up, I might not do a good job, or you'd see them, or she's so scared why to try not, something new. Well, why not have them smooth and nice? Yeah. Plus, I just feel like with the cotton, it's just going to be a big sweatshirt anyway. So I really don't. My I, personal, I just really don't care if it's. Yeah, we may be sorry, may hang down to our knees. But. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see. But anyway. Um, That's what we're doing. Yeah, we're I've, to I've knitted <laughs> enough top-down uh, raglan mm -hmm. sweaters to feel confident with hacking that pattern and, and just making it in the round. Mm -hmm. Like, a lot of people are like, oh, I don't like to veer from a pattern, which I don't normally. Yeah. Like, I would have never veered from the pattern in something like this. Because no. I haven't made that many of those. Right. Anything, I haven't made anything like that. No. Um, anything pieced, I've, I haven't made that many of. So, I would never. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, a top-down raglan, like. I got it, you know, so I hacked it and I did it in the round. <laughs> and, and I copied was, her. And she copied me and that's fine. So here's mine. So we hold that. So mm -hmm. does it go flying? Oh, uh, where's the top? So here's where I'm at. Yeah, she's a lot farther than me. So I, let's see, I have a progress keeper in there somewhere, don't I? Thought I did. Maybe the other side. There it is. Yep. That's where I was. I think that's where I was. No. No, you, no, last you time I was just, only like up to here yeah. when I showed it on the podcast. Right. Okay, so my progress keeper is, so I, I was working on this and I was like, man, I want to start that being an olive. I was like, okay. So I forced myself, I put a progress keeper in, I forced myself to knit three inches on this before I started anything new. 
<laughs> so that's what my progress keeper is. So anyway, I did that. But y'all, uh, here's my little cute little Yeah, you're like three teapot. inches ahead of me. Yeah. So I'm under the arm. I don't know. Five, six inches, something like that. But yeah, I'm tempted to like pick up the neck. Like just leave the body on the needles and go ahead and get the neck done. Because when I hold it up and look at it, I, I don't like the way it looks. <laughs> it just bugs me how like big the neck is. But I know it'll all come together in the end. But I'm tempted. We'll see. Next time you see it, you guys, you might, it might be all, the neck might be done. I don't know. That would make it, make it fun to finish because it looks like it is. It's like done. Yeah, it's the fun. neck's done. So I don't know. I don't know if I can not do it because every time I look at that sweater, I'm like, oh, I wish the neck was done. <laughs> so yeah, here's what we're using. The cotton jeans. It's very nice. I have That's the, I do. no, it's not. No. Gray. I think mine's gray Oxford and yours is like deep indigo. Yeah. Deep indigo. Mm -hmm. So, a lot of people are using it. It's really nice yarn. I'm really In fact, it got out of stock, and some of them had to wait on it. Yeah. <laughs> it's in my Cozy Up, Cozy Up Knits bag. Um, Mine is, too. Mine's by too. JoJo, by the mom. Oh, yeah, yours is in yours, too. Yeah. So, there's that. And let's see. I think that's all of my whips. That's all my whips. That's all your bow and whips. That's all your whips. That, well, you've got lots of whips, but that's all your whips you're talking oh, about. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've got sewing whips, but you don't want to see those. Yep. So, okay. <laughs> Acquisitions? Oh. Oh, um, you've got an exciting one. Do you want to wait and go last or do you want to go first? I'd have to step aside and put it switch on. it out. Mm -hmm. Okay. So well, I'll talk about talk. mine. So, uh, my husband and I, and we took the girls on a day trip the other day to Columbus, Indiana. There's a really cute yarn shop there called Shabby Sheep and You. And, oh my gosh, that was the first time I'd ever been. It was so cool. I wish mom could have went because it was I'm going. so much fun. She's going. So anyway, I had a great time and I got tons of stuff. So I bought this. This is just to have on hand for, I'm trying to build up my sock yarn stash. It's Wonderland Yarns. Um, let's see, what's the, oh, okay. It's, um, well, no, that's not it. Hmm. I don't know if it's called Mary Ann or if it's called Stephanie. So here's what it says, Mary Ann there. And then whoop, throw it on the ground. Maybe it's Marianne Yarn and, and it's it away. Stephanie. Stephanie. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, it's like, it's got this beautiful, like, oh, just speckle. Oh, I can't wait. But yeah, it's sock yarn. So that will be, and it's super soft. It will be a pair of socks. I've got lots of sock yarn here. I got so many socks to make. It's not the same yarn, is it? Mm-mm. Okay. But then I got, um, so this was on the clearance. This was 50% off. So I think I know what I'm going to make. I think I'm going to make a, um, I think it's called the Rosa cardigan, and it's got the little eyelet, like kind of like the Felix, like it's like cute little V, like eyelets right here, and it's got um, pretty things in the buttons, and it's just a cute dressy little cardigan. Hmm. So um, I got this yarn, and I think that's what I'm gonna make with it. I bought five skeins. I bought all they had because it was on the clearance. So I bought the five skeins. They were all the same dye lot. So I'm gonna make a cute little short cardigan kind of. Yeah, I think it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's the Arietta. Um, let's see what the color is. Oh, it just has a number, 49.25, but it's like a, I don't know, ro like, what do you call that? Mauve? Dusty pink? Mauve. I don't know. I don't, I don't really think it's mauve. Well, I don't know. It's brownish. It's, it's not, mauve. though. It's pink. It's like a dusty pink. Mm -hmm. And then I got, um, so this is Malabrigo Arroyo. <laughs> <laughs> it has no dye lot. So I'm going to have to alternate skeins and it's um, a really pretty like tonal navy. I got three skeins. Um, I'm going to make a spring Sorel hmm. because I bought a dress. Did you buy it for me? I don't remember. I got a dress this summer for my birthday. I think you bought it for me. The long my birthday, the blue one. Oh yeah. It's, it's light blue with navy, like little mm -hmm. speckle things on it. So I feel like in its tank tops, I feel like I need like a cute little mm -hmm. crop sweater to go over it for springtime. So I've had it in my head that I want to get some navy yarn. And I saw that and I was like, there you go. That's There's the perfect that. color. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna be using that to make the spring sorrel. And then I got excuse me, these cute little um progress keepers. They're locally made in Indiana. I can't remember where what town they're in, but I love anything Celtic and anything Irish. So, and they're really long, but they're, they're so cute. They look a little bit like, what was, what's the lady's name? Does it have a name? Bobby mm -hmm. Wheeler? No. Okay. But yeah, it's, they're super nice. cute. Um, 
So those will just be fun to, you know, put on there just to see where you left off last well, or whatever. You can put your project keeper in and stick a couple in your ears and you match a couple ear rings. <laughs> <laughs> they look oh like my gosh. They look like and what else did I get? I got one more thing. Oh yeah, my needles. So I bought um, a set of Knitter's Pride Carbons. The the size one. And I'm they're on my or I have them on my watermelon sock right now. So they're just really nice, smooth, slick. Yeah. Yeah. My other uh, size one needles are wood. And they're nice too. They're knitter's pride as well. They're like the dreams or whatever. But they're they don't have as pointy of an end as I would, I feel hmm. like I would just knit in that one pair of socks. I mean, they went, they did fine. I did fine with them, but the end was kind of dull and I thought I need some pointier ones. And also those uh, wooden ones I have are shorter. So oh I, I kept God. having trouble like with them popping off getting things. nervous. Yeah. So, and then I also got um, this wool wash and I got a huge bottle so me and mom can share because all, all we've been using is um, like to block our sweaters is conditioner. Yeah. And it works, but I feel like wool wash is, is going to be better. Like it'll, I feel like it'll hopefully take out some of it. Like this, this is a pretty scratchy yeah. yarn. So hopefully it'll take out some so of that scratchiness. So that's what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to take out the Well, it's specifically for wool. So I feel like it can't hurt. Oh, it's got lanolin. Yeah, it'll, it'll help. I just feel like it'll make yeah, it. Yeah, I think it will. It'll relax it and make it nice. So anyway. Nice. And then I have one more acquisition. I did not get this at the yarn store, but I got this, I think just ordered it on Amazon. I think it's used actually. Because I do want to, um, I talked a year ago about designing a scarf. She keeps talking about it. It's still in my head. I'm still going to do it. But um, anyway, I I want to put like Aran cabling on it. Mm -hmm. But I don't know how to do that without having a pattern. So I bought this book and it has all different kinds. I mean, tons of different kinds. 94 different cables. And I think I might even use this honeycomb one for it. But anyway... I got that on Amazon. It's really cool. So I feel like over my life, if I ever yeah. design little things here and there, even hats. Well, and like some sweaters, this will show me how to you, do you the want cable. like a cable up the front or something just to make it a little different. Like you can hack a plain sweater pattern yeah. and put cables in mm -hmm. it. Yeah. And I, I have you hacked. You have done that. Yeah. I have hacked a, a few baby sweaters. I've used other patterns and like inserted the cable grid mm -hmm. yeah. into a baby sweater. But that will help me come up with my own, yeah. you know, so... Yeah, cool. But that's all. That's Very all my, nice. I think that's all my, yeah, that's it. Well, I have an exciting one. Yay. Yay. You tell them about it. Okay. I've talked so much. So this is um, the Katie shawl. And this was actually knit by Jojo, mm -hmm. the mom of the Cozy Up Girls. Mm -hmm. I think we said last time that you won this. Yeah, I did. Have, yeah. But I didn't have it yet. So um, she, we bid on, they had an auction on this and we bid on it and won. Yeah. So we both have a Katie shawl. Yeah. Hers was made by one of the daughters, and Jamie. mine was made by the mom. Yep, which so was I perfect. That was really cool. And yep. then a really little, exciting. You know, nice note and all signed and everything. Oh, you have their autographs too. Yeah, I have their autographs. And then they also sent a really pretty little skein of so yarn. So pretty. I think mm -hmm. they call the glitter um, yarn like that Stellina. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I've heard that. Um, it's, so it's got that really pretty sparkle all throughout. And I don't know if it's a sock yarn or what. I think it looks like sport weight. But here's a, yeah, see, here's a sock. Here's a fingering. Well, it could be. Oh, yeah. It could very well be. I think it could be used for sock. It could. Yeah. And then I had a little uh, Progress Keeper by Woody Wonders by Nell. It's a cute little wooden. Mm hmm Yeah. It's really nice. Yeah, it's very it exciting. So it smells good, too, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. yeah, we both have a Katie shawl now. Aren't they just so lightweight and nice? They are, and it's not hot. Yep. So, I don't know. I, I think I, it's I, a fingering weight shawl. Yeah, I think it is. I had mentioned um, when I thanked Cozy Up that I'm going to try to find something to make to wear it with. Like a shirt? Either some... a shirt or even a dress or... Oh, yeah. Something that would make it really, you know, pretty. If it would be an outfit, like a dress, it would be a really nice dressy outfit to wear. Yeah. Wear it with. So. It's so cute. Yeah. And JoJo made it. So cute. I know. It's so cute. It's so, so exciting. Cute. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, I also, um, I do have a pattern. Oh. Let me the see little that. pink girl. She hasn't seen it in there. I haven't. Oh. And I just bought, oh, I forget. I was trying to think what this kind of fabric's called. Cotton? No, it's that. Grunge? No, it's that. Um, the watercolors and they're all. 
Oh, You're asking the wrong person. I cannot think of what it's called right now. That's awful. If anybody knows, let us know down below. Well, I mean, I'll think of it later. <laughs> but anyway, I, they, they, there was two pieces left on the bolt when I picked it up. And I thought, you know what? That's just pretty. Mm -hmm. That's cute. Yeah, and it's this fabric, whatever it's called. That's awful. <laughs> I can't think of what it's called. It's real soft fabric. So it makes really nice garments. So I thought, I think it would be really soft oh, to make yeah, a baby dress. Because when a lot of the cute um, fabric is for quilts. And it's this pretty stiff, stiff. to make a baby dress. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to make this little. It's adorable. Two of those. I think I got enough to make two. So cute. They yeah. don't need the hat. No, it's just the, the little dress and the bloomers. I'm hoping mm -hmm. I have enough to make the bloomers. That's adorable. So that and I have an acquisition that all of you have seen. <laughs> <clears throat> but uh, it's now mine. <laughs> so this is the Jupiter crop that I made um, with my spring inspired, you know, colors that I, I talked about yeah. a couple different times on here. Mm -hmm. And I got it all done and it was too big. And mm -hmm. I thought, well, maybe when I block it, I knew it wasn't going to get smaller by any means, but I thought well, maybe when I block it, it will like, Does it, want to ruffle. It, it was big and it wanted to like bunch. So I thought, well, maybe it'll hang and like not look that big. And then I put it on and it was just too big under the arms. And it's a tiny bit big under my arms. It's still, it looks better on me. It's big it on you her. too. Yeah. Yeah. So it's mine now. Thank so you very I, much. But I'm going to uh, return the favor and I want to, to make you a throwover. Yeah. But she hasn't got the stuff for it yet. Yeah. I haven't I mean, quite decided what yarn I want. But so for that Jupiter crop, um, since I gave that one to her, because really, I just enjoy making them. I mean, yeah, it's sad when they don't work, but I don't do swatches, and I really just enjoy making things. So, so I hope that you figure out the second one. If well, the right. second one, I yeah, I know what I'm going to do, and I'm going to make, it's going to be the same color scheme, but I'm going to switch up the color so it's not the exact same sweater. I'm going to yeah. do, instead of the dark green as the main, I'm going to use the purple as the main, and then switch up the different colors. Use that same purple. Because I really won't have to buy, buy very much yarn, because mm -hmm. I hardly used any of the... Of the well, originally, the pink she was going to make the purple as the background, too, and she forgot. I forgot, and I ordered more green than I did purple. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, yeah, so I think that's what I'm going to do, and it won't look like the exact same thing. And I love making that pattern. I mean, this will be my fourth one, and yeah. I'm not dreading it. Yeah, I know. That's fun. I love it. It's the it's Caitlin Hunter, and she her color work is just so fun. Yeah. It's fun stuff. And I don't, I have a pattern, but I don't know if that'll look right with that sweater. Mm -mm. Like this one. It won't look like. Mm -mm. Okay, we only want to show that. You have to but, find something that's like A, I feel like A-line. Yeah, maybe A-line. So anyway, I was at Joann's and they had this 60% off. It's, it's linen-like, but it's, I've got bad fingernails. It's um, not pure linen. Her, the pink one I made her was stiffer. Mm -hmm. It might need a lining. I might have to have you make, like, just sew a lining in it. Oh, You're, right. I hate making lining. <laughs> so there you go. I'll buy you a slip. That was a mean mug if I ever seen one. You were like, <laughs> I'll buy her a slip. like, what? I'm going to buy her a slip. I'm going to buy me a lining in that dress. <laughs> Your face was so mad immediately. That's like whenever I make a quilt and they say, I need pillow shams. I'm like, <laughs> I always say that. I know you and Julie both. <laughs> pillow shams. Okay, but anyway. Oh. That is a pretty collar. It goes with that. And there was enough of this to make a full dress. And there might be enough of this collar to make like a sleeveless full something. Mm -hmm. And then just have the sweater I like the over it. I mean, that, that obviously matches, but I like the purple better. Yeah, this is more folly looking. Mm -hmm. But anyway. But was, you could make two dresses and then you'd have two outfits. I mean, they're dresses. I could make them wear them with something else. Yeah. So you're going to take that spring and turn it into a fall sweater. I am making it into a fall sweater. That's okay because it... it it either way, go. I yeah. think because of the yellow is a little bit mustardy, mm -hmm. I think it can go either way. It definitely can go either way. Mm -hmm. I'm just so glad that you're going to wear it. Yeah. I'm thrilled. So, okay. And I wanted to show this cute little pattern. Aww. I've thought about making socks. So, I, you know, whatever. Because I told her it's awesome. Yeah. Fun. So She doesn't believe me. But the I found a little pattern. It's by Tin Can Knits. It's called Rye. And it's kids. I think it goes all the way up. It's actually uh, all adult. their yeah. all their patterns do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So anyway, it's with worsted yarn. Oh my gosh! It is worsted it's yarn. Be thick. It'll be booties. Yeah, they'll be booties. Mm -hmm. 
That's it would I be know. cute with like little clogs or something. Mm -hmm. So if I have enough yarn, although the red and the green yarn is a three, it would be okay. It might work to have red, a pair of red and a pair of green and match your sweaters. So. I mean, if they're, they're socks and they're knitted, they'll stretch and fit and be fine. Mm -hmm. But it goes all the way from uh, baby, toddler, child, mm -hmm. all the That's way how all ten ten through adults. adults. So, I mean, I just awesome. really think it's like the flax. Mm -hmm. It's got the little ridges of garter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. It looks a lot like how mm -hmm. that flax does yeah. down the sleeve. So that was Ooh. a pattern that I got, and I thought Cute. that was really cool. So those won't take you long at all. It'll be fun. No. You could do those for the Mary Make Along if you, if you can't get the sweaters done. I could. I could whip up some socks. Yeah. Well, you if I don't get both, I, I could surely get one sweater done for the Mary Make Along. Yeah. After I whip out. I forgot to mention that. So <laughs> I am um, I'm making those little Bean and Olive sweaters for my girls. Those are Christmas presents. Yeah. So I'm entering them into the uh, Merry Make Along that Carla Knits podcast mm -hmm. is hosting right now. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I started an appropriate, I, I, you know, I, I didn't cheat or anything. I just started that. Just right. Because I think her day, thing started July 1st. Yeah, I think you cast them on on July 1st. Did I? I don't remember, but I know I know. But I was like within she the. She waited. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was, I did, I followed the rules. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think it ends August 31st, the same day mm -hmm. as our, as our cow. Yeah. So, but yeah, so I'm like, I'm still like continuing to knit on our autumn league pullover, but I am definitely trying to get some Christmas gifts done too. Cause I have a lot of hats and stuff I want to make as well. Mm -hmm. So if I can get the sweaters out of the way, then I can whip up can a hat. a hat with some of this? Oh yeah, I've got, got all, I got all kinds of hat patterns with different weights of yarns all saved. Oh, this would be pretty with like off-white, mm -hmm. fair isle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'd be pretty. Mm -hmm. Make it one of those Celtic hats that I made for Laura. Yeah. And make it look pretty. Although that was an Aaron White pattern, but whatever. Oh, I'm no. sure I could figure something out. But, okay. Mm -hmm. So that, oh, sorry. That is all of our stuff that we wanted to talk about. Besides, um, mm -hmm. so last time we talked kind of about um, the scrapbook that mom made for my nephew Keaton's graduation. And we didn't have any pictures or anything. So I had my sister take some pictures of some of the cute pages that we used the Cricut on. So that we could talk about and mm -hmm. show how we use the Cricut. Um, so we did one. Um, I'll show it here. It was the one where um, I used the Goodyear tire. Oh, yeah. Uh, like logo. And I changed it to, instead of Goodyear, it says road trip. But I used the Goodyear font and the little the foot little, and everything. Little foot, yeah. And then we Cricuted a little um, tire on the corner. Yeah. So I'll have a picture of that on here. And then um, one was, it was the, like his first car page mm -hmm. with the Jeep. And we did like the big Jeep logo and we had a Jeep, like an actual Jeep on its side. Like it was, you know, mm -hmm. romping over something and we had tire treads and it had cute little like dangly stickers and stuff that you got hanging yeah. off of it. And um, there was a driver's license pick, like a little yeah. sticker that was a driver's license and we printed out a tiny picture of Keaton's face. <laughs> yeah, and put his name in it. And yeah, put his name on it and stuck it on there. Um, <laughs> one of the other ones I really liked that we used a cricket on was uh, their Florida all their Florida vacations because they go to Florida oh, yeah. all the time. And I did a big sun with all the little sunbeams. And then the word Florida was actually cricketed. Like I had the cricket cut it out. These paper. are all pages you did. Well, we showed a lot of yours. <laughs> yeah, we did already. Yeah, we showed yeah. a lot of yours. But I didn't get to talk about the ones that I know we didn't get to have because I took it. And I told you to take pictures of all of them and you didn't. No. What other ones did I did you do that we didn't show with cricket? It doesn't matter. Which ones? I don't know. I don't know. Because we showed you. No, your... I think we did show most of them. Yeah. We showed the ladybug. And... We showed the ladybug. We showed the paw prints, the the spools with the needles. Yeah, we did. Mine were already shown. See, I'm not a horrible person. No, yeah. No, then the last one I wanted to show I was, just teasing you. was um, the Instagram one. So oh, we took yeah. like posts from his Instagram and we did an Insta, we called it Insta Worthy. Mm -hmm. And we um, put his Instagram, we put all of his Instagram posts on there. And then I um, cricketed out all the little like Instagram symbols, like the little it was really chat cool. button and the mm -hmm. heart and just all the cute little, whatever they are, little mm -hmm. symbols on Instagram and put that on there. So I just wanted to talk about that because this was the first time that mom made a scrapbook where we had a cricket. Yeah. So we got really into yeah. all the just oh. endless possibilities of everything you could cut out. And put maybe on there. the next grandkid, maybe there'll be all kinds of. Oh, yeah. Stuff. <laughs> well, we used it for a lot of stuff. I mean, yeah. I know that wasn't all we used it for. Those are yeah. just like, well, like it's probably because the one, they're the ones that I did. So they did stick out in my head. But Julie, on FaceTime today, we, we flipped through it. And the ones that we that I remember yesterday, I knew that was the cricket. And we used that. We already showed. 
Yeah. So we showed in person on the podcast. Yeah. So anyway. No. And then I was going to show with Cricket, I was going to show that banner that I made for Macy in real life, but I showed it. I showed a picture of it last time. So, you know. Yeah. Got the gist of that. <laughs> it's done. Yeah. It was nice. I already gave it away, so it's over. Not going to ever get that back. It's just too much to remember to do. <laughs> but anyway, that's all. And then um, personal stuff. I guess the twins are turning one. Mm-hmm. Um, we're having a birthday party for them at the like local water splash thing here. And that's going to be a good time. So here's their cute little invitation that I made on Shutterfly. They are. But that'll be a good time. That's coming up. I got to order cupcakes and stuff. I'm not very good at planning parties. <laughs> and I want to cricket them little shirts to wear. So I yeah, get, you will have to cricket some. Yeah, we'll show those next time. I got to get on that and get that done. So, but well, yeah. Yeah, you need yourself to be have a matching. <laughs> Gosh, yeah. <laughs> I guess I... Mom and unicorn. <laughs> oh, yes. Of course, it's like unicorn theme stuff. So, yeah, I don't know if I'll do that or not. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> Anything else? I don't think so. That's it. I mean, I really don't. Know okay. Else. Well, oh, that was very exciting. This done. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time. Is. Yeah, that was very exciting. <laughs> all right. So thanks for joining us, and yeah, give us a comment, give us a like. Welcome to all of our new subscribers. That's really exciting. Mm -hmm. We've got lots of new subscribers. So yeah, that's Fun all we stuff. have. Yeah. See you next time. Bye. Bye.